Hello my Wolfpack and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Legends Arceus playthrough. Now I have done some stuff in between episodes and hopefully this means that you guys are going to be able to see um, me defeat you today. So uh, team wise we have now got Samurott still at level 56. I took Staraptor out because realistically not going to be doing a lot of good. Um, Growlithe now level 49, Gabite to level 40, Sligu level 41, uh, the Hisuian form as well, Gligar level 48, and Gastrodon level 44. I thought this combination of Mons should hopefully work <clears throat> relatively nice against it, because all we saw was Thunder Wave and Thunder. So I'm assuming that, you know, this helps us a lot. <coughs> yeah, I would like to go against Electro, please. I'm just going to skip through this because we, we spoke about this before. Um, oh, God. This one's nerve-wracking. This one is really nerve-wracking. It's difficult. It's actually difficult, this one. There's some Volt Orbs. <coughs> Excuse me. We just got a proper cop going on in a minute. And here is the big boy itself. Right, okay. Okay. Let's go. Should make sure the right mon is in first. Okay, I did not mean for that to happen. Did not want for that to happen. Oh gosh, yeah, no, I am not playing this very well so far, am I? I am doing an awful job here. So, exploding volt orbs everywhere. I've got something in my teeth as well. I swear it's just an extra phase. I, how did that hit me? I was out of the range. That was rude. So I'm just going to keep on running. Keep on running. Right, there we go. So... <coughs> You're thunder-waving me, that's annoying. Oh, I'm in the way, okay. Right, hopefully we don't get fully paralysed. Ceaseless Edge. <coughs> of course. A freeing course. Wow, that's just really frustrating, actually. Really frustrating, because that would have done a lot of damage. Um, let's bring out Gastrodon. I'm not sure how well it can hit Gastrodon, if I'm honest. Um, we're going to go for a strong strike of Earth Power. How much are they going to do? That's the always oh, cross type as well, isn't it? It has Energy Ball? What? You're kidding. Oh my god. That is actually a joke. That is actually a joke. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Yeah, I don't think we're going to win this one. Uh, Fire Fan. Because that's super effective. And I didn't realise that. Right, okay. <clears throat> Right, so... Oh, this is just so frustrating. This is like such a difficult battle. Oh god. And is this the one where... It f yeah, this is the one where it chases me. I can't sprint in here. 
which is really interesting. <coughs> okay, so luckily, energy ball's neutral. Okay, let's fight. Let's just do a strong strike and mud bomb. Or well, that's that's only neutral. I should have actually no. Grass electric is actually a really interesting typing. Go on, miss. Yes. Okay. This is this is the way we we're using it. This is the way we got to do it. Okay, so that's now on phase three. <clears throat> Which means we need to knock it out two more times. Ah, oh, this is scary, ow. This is terrifying. Okay, right. Okay. That's Gligo down. Okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, we could use Gabite now. I mean, Sligu does have super effective attacks. So we are swapping Gabite. And, oh, we're going to go for... What if I do any of these? Okay, if I go for Bulldoze, I'm going to go for an Agile Bulldoze. And then I guess we go for a Strong Style Dragon Claw. Oh, you're kidding. I didn't quite take it out. Okay, so we 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 did we died to that, but 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 I can fire fang. When we're in the next phase, can I? Okay, can I? Oh, I can! I can use revives! Oh, nice! That's really helpful. I should go revive everyone, heal them up. I can craft as well. I love that I'm just in the middle of battle, just crafting up my items. Uh, potions. Let's do like 15. And then let's find them, use, I should really be worried about my health as well here actually, <laughs> like because there is a good chance that I could die. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm in the last kind of um, points. Is there any item that can actually heal me? Can I, like, heal myself at all? No? Okay, is there an item to heal myself? 
Um, what's that do? Fate of Pokemon. No, it's all about the Pokemon, it's not about us. I feel like these are getting bigger. Oh god. I am literally one hit away from dying. Right, okay. Wow, that crit hit me hard. Um, okay, okay, I'm going to use an Agile on my bomb. Because that gets me two attacks in a row. And then I'm going to use a Strong my bomb. Okay, it doesn't quite take it out, but I am obscured. Okay, it hit me. Uh, that's annoying. <laughs> like, that is annoying. But, uh, Growl can come out. Oh, God, I'm shaking. Right, I need to be right up next to it. Because I'm going to have to, like, throw these like my life depends on it. Oh my god! I'm gonna have to do one more round. I think these are getting faster too as well. God, I'm on my last hit, literally. I could die. Okay, 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 okay. There we go, okay, it doesn't matter now. I think we win. I think we can win. Strong style. Energy ball, I don't care if it goes down though. Don't care if it goes down. Oh my god, I'm just, I'm literally like I'm my heart is pounding right now. We're gonna flare blitz. Cause I forgot this was part grass type. Right, flare blitz. I need to be close. Did that take it out? It did. Okay, good. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. That was tough. That was tough. Literally shaking. Literally shaking. We got a few level ups as well, which is nice. Oh, right. Oh, you are a lot smaller now as well. Oh, no. No, no, you are a lot smaller now. I got the Zap plate. Yes. So I think that's eight plates. I don't know if the fairy type is a thing in this game. Like, oh, for shame. What utter calamity. You're telling me. <laughs> like... I agreed to make those accursed bombs, yes. But now this almost sin, this precious being has vanished, a uh, bless, blessing has vanished forever. It's just so unbearably sad. Is that how you see it? Electro looks relieved to me. Glad, glad it's suffering ended, probably. 
Oh, come on, Adaman. Seriously. That's just your wishful thinking, nothing more. All your preaching doesn't ruffle me one bit. But if all my Sydney grows angry at me because of this, I don't know what I'll do. I arrive right on schedule. See, so he remembered some stuff. Now, what did you bother coming back for? I want to say that I recalled some things after midnight did uh, me the honour of travelling with me. Things to do with the world where I believe I, I lived before my memories were lost. Most people were caught. That like, most people there caught Pokemon, lived with them, formed supportive partnerships with them, and then there were po the Pokemon trainers. The ones we call Pokemon trainers were truly devoted to their craft. They always looked towards the next challenge and had Pokemon battles every chance they got, all to help themselves and their Pokemon grow. Free battle trainers forge bonds of understanding with their partners and with their opponents and their Pokemon too. Oh, what? Wow. Everything, I suppose. If Pokemon and people work together, we can forge new paths forwards. We'll be lost to history if we go on believing only Pokemon can be strong, or if we go on fearing them instead of understanding them. Interesting. Was your world like Ingo described to Midnight? It sure was. <laughs> Never have thought such a world could exist. Uh, once again, the brilliant Warden Mellow has realised something rather clever. It's not just the Pokemon that needs to be strong, it's me as well. The greater my valour and might, the more my Pokemon can reach their potential. I wonder if all my Sinner would be pleased once I've achieved exactly that. Hey, Adamant, show me again the wisdom of Almighty Sinnoh passed down among our clan. Alright, alright, open your ears, shut the big mouth, and listen well, my friend. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger, offer only friendship to those around you. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger, bring not, <laughs> bring not Almighty Sinnoh to sorrow. For that is when time's flow will cease. And there you have it. Bravo, excellent. Please, all of you, do your best and run towards the destination. An even higher state. Of course, your higher state is clear, Midnight. It surely lies with the next lord. Who's the next lord? Probably Zoroark. Now, this time, I really will make the complete return trip to Jubilee Village. Perhaps with someone like Midnight to show... The Pokemon need not be feared. The people of Hisua will find new tracks forward. Now, begging your pardon, I owe Commando Commando my report. Until next time, Midnight. Can we find a way to honour our past while also forging a better future? Maybe that's what Almighty Sinnoh really wants from us. After all, it rules over all, over all time, and it created everything there is. Be ready to shield your eyes, Galaxy Grunt. I'm going to polish up both myself and Electrode until our strength and brilliance are blinding. Right, so, time to report to the commander. So, yeah, this is terrifying um, and exciting. We are going to actually, because up here, oh, didn't mean to do that. I actually want to go up here. Because, is that, what's that down there? That is... Oh, a Luxray. Okay, so I just want to go up here and just adventure a little bit more. Oh, wait, no, you can't. Okay, that's fine. Let's, uh... Let's travel back to uh, the mountain camp and we'll go back from there. Yes, you can recall my findings. There's not really much. Um... Oh, I suppose I did some battles, didn't I? So. Yeah, as you can see, I've actually got a lot of research points. And um, I've been the next rank for quite a while. So I could actually end up being with two ranks. Um, yeah. Um, so we're going to talk to Captain Silene as well. Uh, you quelled Lord Electro. Spend the job, as always, my boy. Let's be off to the village. Time to report to Commander Commander. I'm also going to save, because I haven't saved in a very long time, and I do not want to lose all of the progress I've made in the last, like, ten hours. Um, so, let's save. So, we're now four out of five of the Lords down. Oh, if I'd have done this, then Quillfish would have obeyed me much sooner. Like, ugh. Right, what's your item today? A moon-like rock. Um... 
I want that. Yeah, I'll take it. It's a moon. Oh, okay. So they're not actually. Okay. I thought they were called that. And like, okay, yeah, right. So I'm just basically have to buy everything that he has now. Uh, first of all, let's talk to Silene. If you have progress to report, I'll judge it. <clears throat> Burn myself a star, nice. Fifth star. I can use wing balls. Ooh! What are wing balls? Sky Tumble Stone. Okay, I think I've got loads of those. Continue to. Oh, they're going to be better than feather balls, aren't they? Of course. Yeah. Um, let's see. Can I level up again? Yes, I can. I can get to that. I've earned myself another star. <laughs> I'm six star. So you can get two at once, apparently. Six star. I can now use Ultra Balls. Nice. And Pokemon's level 80, so that means I'm not going to have any concerns for the rest of this playthrough. So I can use any Pokemon. So Ultra Ball. Max, max Potions as well. Nice. Uh, can you just blah, blah, blah. Okay, nice. Now, there are going to be probably a couple of quests on here, I'd imagine. Uh, a, a peculiar ponytail. Yota, a fellow from the village claims to have seen a rather strange ponytail. You must investigate the matter for the good of science. Okay, so that will be something that I do. Um, the report has been filed concerning a size of a mysterious Pokemon. Uh, the Seas Legend. Okay, interesting. Oh, okay. Oh, jolly good choice there, Midnight. I see you've taken on the request I posted. Let me fill you in right away. I was strolling along Prelude Beach the other day when I saw something swimming a little way out from the shore. Rather aggressively, it disappeared before I could snap a picture, but I can only assume this mysterious swim was some sort of Pokemon. From the way it swam, it seemed to be drifting on the ocean currents. Now, if I'm not mistaken, from the seas behind Jubilife, Life, that would take it all the way to Cobalt Coastlands. This, ra this <laughs> rather leaves me wondering if the Pokemon was headed there for some specific purpose. Given the circumstances, I was thinking that if we spoke... With a good warden, Iskin, of the Diamond Clan, we might learn more. Okay, so I need to go talk to Iskin. Oh, no, he's here. Okay. <laughs> I got your message. So, uh, you're looking for a Pokemon that was swimming towards the Carbot Coastlands. Well, uh, I'm very sorry, but I can't tell you much based on that alone. But, well, there is one thing I can tell you. I've heard that long ago the Cobalt Coastlands was known as the East Sea, and a princely Pokemon was said to live in the waters there. The story of this princely Pokemon we found in a tomb called the Legend, the Sea's Legend. But no one knows uh, much about either the tomb or its tale, or tome, beyond what I've just told you. So uh, that's all I know. I guess I wasn't much help after all. Sorry about that. I'll, uh, I'll just take my leave here then. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, okay. And I think... Our next task, obviously, is to go and give our reports, because reports are important to make sure that we are doing the correct thing. It's crazy how it's already 2pm. Like, I don't think I'm going to finish this game this weekend. I really don't. <laughs> like, hmm. So one Melly believes that the frenzies of these Pokemon were some sort of trial set by Old Wonsi Sinnoh. We cannot know if that's the case or not, but it does beg the question... Why ever would this almighty sinner drive the nobles to frenzy? Is angered by something, or does it seek to drive a wedge between people and Pokemon? Well, far be it from hu us humans to fathom the thoughts of Pokemon. And what is the space-time rift anyways? What caused it to open? Hmm. You must be so... <laughs> you must be tired. Go on then, go to the ball player. Get some rest while you can. I've instructed Benny to prepare you his finest potato mochi. Nom 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 nom. Scaling perilous heights. Okay, nice. So we're going to have a dinner and a chat. Dinner's on Komodo tonight. Eat your fill. Don't have to pay for it. Nice. I do love a free meal. What? An enticing aroma. My appetite just went through the roof. 
Quite a change from the commander's usual preaching about tightening our belts until things grow more stable. Well, I've heard talk that our progress surveying Pokemon has made gathering ingredients a less um, onerous. Or onerous. Onerous, I reckon. <laughs> or at least less dangerous task. It's almost like a fairy tale, isn't it? How you've fallen with the first rocks in the sky and gone to help the people who are so much. Indeed, taking on such perilous duties has earned you a great deal of trust, Midnight. It's like I always say, behaviour is a mirror that reflects one true, one's true nature. Well, you let your actions do the speaking for you, Midnight. And the message is clear as day. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter one whit where you came from. Okay? <laughs> You're part of the Survey Corps in Jubilife Village now. Nice. Okay, so we're going to go to sleep now, I assume. The next day. Wake up and do my stretches because, you know, after you've been in bed, you got to stretch out. <laughs> no, it is not nice getting up early. <laughs> is it? It's not as if we're getting up early changes what we can do in the day. But actually, I think it can. Yes, it does. It opens up possibilities such as uh, responding to command... Commander Komodo's invitation today in a timely manner. Well, I got that same invitation. I had to wake up even earlier than you to run all the way here for it. Come on, no need to grouse so much over a nice little easy early wake up. Are you coming too? I'm sure we can all get to the Commander once with us. So that means there's another frenzy Pokemon. Yes, do come. Galaxy was quite close anyway. I know it's close. <laughs> of course it's close. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, okay. We've just we we we're just in with them, okay. You've now acquired the frenzy of four nobles. Uh on to the next one, that's what I wanna say. When word of these frenzies arrived from all over history, I feared what would become of us. But here we are, already preparing to quell the final noble. Yes, who would have dreamed some stranger who tumbled out of the sty uh, would be our salvation? Life never does stop surprising you. The only lord left to crowd is Avalarg. Oh, we're going to get an Avalarg. Hisuian, nice. Which lives in Alabaster Icelands. He's also the largest of the nobles, according to what Irida told me. Irida, I don't know how to say it. The mission is to crowd Avalarg, the final lord, and perhaps in doing so, May trigger some change in the space-time rift as well. Avalog may be the power of stands noble, but my clan and the galaxy team will have to step up to resolve this too, for the sake of a brighter future. Then let us all meet in the cold reaches of that Alabaster Iceland until then. Okay, the slumbering lord. No matter how many of these frenzies uh, Pokemon you make well, the fact remains that you are estranged to our world. No small number of people will still re regard you with suspicion and distrust. The most you can hope for is to gain the trust of as many people as possible. And to do that, you must prove yourself through your actions. Yeah! What? Who? What? Is this? Oh, is it the trio? Oh, it's a wormhole. Abra, teleport this Wurble outside at once! <laughs> You're not a bug fan, are you, Silene? Um, so, you're to survey the <laughs> Alabaster Icelands next. This is the most treacherous climb you'll face in all history. I'm pretty sure I'm saying a lot of these words wrong. <laughs> it would not be an exaggeration to say that you... Might be the only one among the survey corps I can task with surveying this. You know your orders. See your mission through. I will. I will try. Are there any more requests in here? There's normally a request to open up when I open up a new land. A new land. Yes, that's that's what I do. Open up a land. Right, okay. Your next request is for me to get you something. Um, what do you want me to collect this time so we can give you more stuff? Never, never, you whelp! Oh, God.
Oh, dear customer, I'm sorry you had to see that. I asked how to supply me uh, with some new goods. They simply won't do business with me. Are you, uh, I hate... I truly hate to keep imposing me like this. But would you please try to make him see reason? So I need sand radishes this time. And do you want to... You... No, it's not right either. It needs a special extra something, but what? Oh, nice timing as always. I can use your help once again when we come up with new hairstyles. I've hit another wall there. Now, I bet I could get inspiration from a different Pokemon. Pokemon like, yeah, Curlia. I can't remember how it looks exactly, but I'm pretty sure it has a distinct style. If I could study one, close and close, I bet it get past me, it'd get me past this block. If you manage to catch Curlia, bring it here so I can look at it, okay? Okay. I'm sure there's going to be other requests. Yeah, there is a request in the building. Um, I'm not going to get any requests today. In this episode. I'm up, I think I'm going to do requests off screen. I think that's just easier. We are going to go to... First of all, sort out our team. Because currently, I think... Um, right. I, what I need to get rid of some of these um, Pokemon... Um, wow, so many. Yeah, I, I went and caught 60 Pokemon at once. Um, so yeah, that's a massive impact. Uh, where is my Staraptor? There's Staraptor. And Growlithe staying in. I kind of want to keep Sligu and Gavite. I want to take out Gastrodon. I'm going to put Luxray back in. Although Luxray is a little bit lower level now. Because it is only level 40. But actually, no, that, you know, it, that should be fine. That should be fine. Um, actually, no, I want to put Quillfish back in, I think. Um, where's Quillfish? Where's my spiky boy? I'm probably going to go past it like five times. Oh, there it is. So, yeah, we've got Quillfish now, and that's the highest level on my team, because I just randomly caught it. Um, it might have even been Alpha. Okay, Laverton's here. What's he want to say? So it's made for the Alabaster Icelands. That's right. I see. Of course, I'm also aware of the injuries done to some of our own good people because of the frenzies of the other nobles. There seemed little choice to intervene. But let's have a log out, out on <laughs> Alabaster Islands. Hasn't harmed a soul, as I hear it. Does it really beho behoove <laughs> us to go out of our way to uh, subdue him? If he's as great in mind as he's been saying, he could call, very well cause avalanches. Avalanches don't require any Pokemon's help. They occur perfectly well on their own, you know. I confess, I still have my doubts whether we should be getting involved in this case. No damage has been done so far, but if we send Midnight out there, we're we'll putting him in danger of real harm. Eh, yeah, it's fine. But if the Lord is suffering in a frenzy like people say, then wouldn't it be kind of to quell it? It's simply so much we don't yet understand when it comes to noble Pokemon. We don't know whether their frenzies truly are caused by them su causing them suffer, nor do we know why they enter these states in the first place. Or if it's all connected to the space-time rift. I just want to know where I get all the rest of the plates from. What is it, I wonder, that the commander hopes will come about from quelling the nobles? Or indeed, from surveying any of the Pokemon in the land? What is it he hopes to achieve? A way to coexist, I think. Certainly hope so. Go on my research to help build a future where everyone gets along with Pokemon. Professor Laverton. Ah, nothing to bet yourself about. Uh, doubtless, I'm just being a silly sausage. Love it. Uh, you've got a mission to carry out. Haven't you, Midnight? Uh, then we will support you with it. The best sort I can offer you now is a chance to practice your battle skill. Okay, yeah, I suppose we're battling. I'm glad just to get an opportunity to spout you. The fact that I've been, been able to grow so much as a serving course member and work together with Pikachu is due to you joining us. Is it still going to be a Pikachu is not a Raichu yet? Right, okay, Mr. Mime. So, I think she had a Mime Junior before when we battled her. Uh, Quillfish. Um, I'm still not 100% sure what type it is. 
Let's find out right now if the fairy typing exists. Right, we're just going to use a normal poison jab. It does exist, okay. It does exist, that's good to know. Right, what next? Staravia, okay. Quick attack. Youch. That hurt. Um, I would like to go for a strong... A strong poison jab. There we go. And the last one is Pikachu. It's going to knock me out straight away. Strong style. Is that quick attack? Yeah. Strong style quick attack. That's the pro strats. Right, Pikachu. So, we're going to send out Growlithe. And we're going to use a strong, stra strong style rock slide. There we go. So that's taking it out. There we are. Battle decided. Oh, I, it sucks that Quillfish took out two of them, but still didn't. He didn't get any experience. Battle mission in the Ice Lands. Well, it'll be a challenge. Be careful out there. As for me, I'll set off for Alabaster Islands forthwith. See you there, my boy. Right, let's. Let's have a look. I still think there's going to be some other areas. I think there's still going to be an area here. It just makes sense. And also, we haven't... I don't think we've actually got access to... Oh, no, we have. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there we go, yes. Right, so it's icy. And empty. Have I not even got a base camp? Oh, okay, okay, good. Good, I've got a base camp. Oh my god, uh, my word, it's rather chilly here, isn't it? Glad to see you made it safe and sound in any case. Very few venture to these um, islands, apart from Tail Hill, leading the odd supply corpse excursion to gather materials. But the survey corpse, of course, must go anywhere the Pokemon are found. From what I gather, I speak arena where you'll find Avalug is rather far off, I'm afraid. Doubtless this mission to tackle Avalug will be another dangerous one. Learn that you have from Iridia and Adamant to keep yourself on the safe side. Midnight. Brisk out here, isn't it? Yeah, well, you are wearing next to nothing. How long are you freezing? Freezing? I'm practically... If you think this is bad, just wait. This is nothing compared to where we're headed. You know, I'm getting to think the problem between us isn't the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan thing. It's just a you and me thing. <laughs> we'll never see eye to eye on anything, will we? I don't see how we could, as long as you and your clan cling to your vision of the almighty Sinnoh that reigns over time. Forgive my bluntness, but if such a being even does exist, certainly not almighty Sinnoh. Yes, yes, believe what you want. Just tell me where we have to go. God, the tension between these two is just unbearable. Will they just make out already? We're headed to see my teacher, and he's only ever found in one place. The tavern. Which is... You're talking about the uh, Garrick fellow, right? Where do we find him? Uh, at Avalon's legacy, obviously. Uh, great mass of ice could be... Could I have meant that... When I said we'd be headed somewhere even colder. Where else indeed? Ready to go midnight? Sure, stomp off about me. This is why I can't stand people who only care about whether time is passing them by. 
See you at Avalog's Legacy Midnight. Take care on the way. Okay, let's finish that off there. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here. So I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you soon.